Hey Lions fans, this is Maggie Reese here with FaceTime with the Lions. I'm here with the returning center, Ronnie Barrow, who's going to be giving us some inside scoop. We'll get to know him a little bit better today. We've heard some of your feedback and we're going to ask um, some of those questions that you might not know about Ronnie. So let's start from the beginning, Ronnie. Tell us where you're from. From Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York, all yeah. the way down here in Columbus, Georgia. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a little warmer down here than it is in New York right now, right? Definitely. Right. Probably about maybe I'd say 15 to 20 degrees. <laughs> say that's a good thing. It is. It's a warmer, it warmer place to be. So when did you get your start in football? I got my start in football in my ninth grade year of high school. Okay, yeah. high school. That's kind of a late start, right? It is because my mom always thought church was supposed to be a priority. Okay, all right, no. I get that. So yeah. you started in high school. What side of the ball did you play on in high school? I played defensive line. Defensive line. Yeah, everything on the defensive line, I played it. Okay, so how was, how was high school football? Man, high school football was a good journey. It was up and down, you know what I'm saying? Never had a championship there, but it was a good experience. Okay, so you were able to go and play in college a little bit. Tell us where you ended yeah. up. So I went to Nassau Community College where um, I played two years there. And then I ended up going to Bethune-Cookman University, and I played another two years there. And then um, I ended up going to arena football okay. with Tampa Bay Storms, but they, um, they're they folded. And then I did like a little a league, a RPFL league. Okay. It, um, it was for a short period of time. And the, uh, the Lions found me there. Great, so you ended up back here in Columbus with the Lions and did a switch to the other side of the ball and ended up playing center for us yeah. last year. Uh, what was your first reaction when coach said that, uh, hey, we think we might get you to switch sides of the ball and uh, play center for us? It was very intimidating. Okay. I remember I was like, I used to tell the guys, I was like, yo, first game I'm gonna get cut, guys. Just <laughs> wanna let you guys know. And it ended up going long term. My coach believed in me and that was it. Hey, that means a lot, you know, never too late to switch positions. You had some success there. Definitely. Went all the way to the championship game last year and didn't quite finish the drill, as they might say. What um, did you walk away from last season with thinking about this year? Oh, man, I'm just more hungry than ever. I could say that. Um, and you just learn lessons, you know what I'm saying? After a loss like that, you kind of say, okay, it's humbling. And um, it also makes you kind of see where things went wrong. Sure. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of selfishness on our team. There was a lot of me people. And everybody knows in football, it's, it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about we. And um, pretty much that's what I took from it. Yeah, all you, you know? little Lions fans out there listening, that's a good nugget of advice right there. <laughs> it's not about me, it's about we. I think exactly. um, Alabama is probably feeling that a little bit this week, Man, too. that's my team. That, that's hey, crazy. that's my team, too. Tell um, me about it's it. It's a hard loss. We can't win all the time, you know? Can't win all the time. You gotta let other it's people okay. win. That, that's just a very, I think Nick Saban was just being really selfless that night and mm -hmm. just letting the other team have it. I think that's what we're going to walk away with. That <laughs> yeah, we're going to walk away with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know this about Lions players. We learned this with Greg. You guys have jobs on the side. Where are you working um, in Columbus right now? I work at Jordan High School as a sub right now, and then um, I also work at Foot Action part-time. So sneaker guy. Yeah, actually, I am a huge sneaker guy. I, I love mean, sneakers. I think we can tell if you can see those <laughs> shoes. That's a, that's a nice pair of kicks right there. Thanks. So, um, <laughs> what's it like working at Jordan with high school kids? That's not always an easy job. Man, I love working with kids because I could kind of relate. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that seasoned where I could say, I don't understand what you're going through anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like, when the kids come to me, you know, I kind of relate to them and adapt with them and kind of tell them, you know, change this around, work this way. Uh, be better from yesterday, be better today. And um, just like that, yeah. Big, big nuggets of wisdom <laughs> coming out of this guy on this interview. I appreciate oh, this. Man. I'm gonna walk away inspired. So tennis shoes, obviously a big thing for you. Big What's your thing. favorite pair of shoes in your closet? <sighs> Favorite pair? I have to say Yeezys. They're the most comfortable yeah. and fashionable sneakers. Even though he doesn't have a good name right now, but oh, yeah. um, well, that's another interview yeah, for another that's time. That's definitely right? another interview for another time, man. <laughs> All right, so we're hungry for this season. You got a lot coming up. Definitely. What are you looking forward to? Any new guys that you hear that you might be playing with that you're excited about? Oh man, um, Bones Bagante, Bagante Bones, or Bones Bagante. He's actually my new roommate. Cool. We just moved in together. Man, he's an electrifying receiver from what I seen last year when we played against him. And he just takes, he, he does what it takes to win. He takes risks. And that's what the type of attitude we need on the lines. Mm -hmm. 
we need a little bit more of that. Guys that are going to go out there and give it their all and leave it all there. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And that's how we play for the next game, you know? So that's what I'm really looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to Mason coming back. Mason is going to be coming back, I'll say, 10 times stronger. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Really that's excited. Great. You know, that's some good strategy from Coach there. You have a player that beats you in the championship game. Instead of preparing for him, you just go out and get him and bring him to your team oh. and say, well, just put that weapon in our arsenal oh, for next year. Oh, man. Well, Bones, actually, we played against him in the playoffs. Playoffs, okay. Yeah, All we right. played against him in the playoffs. And when I say, man, it was like watching him play, it was kind of like, yo, this kid is just flying off the wall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to go get it. Mm -hmm. And that's the type of attitude, again, like I said, that's the attitude you need. Very that's cool. That's you need. All right, so we're going to get, um, if you're watching football, if you're a football fan, obviously all of your focus now is on the NFL. Some big games coming up, and um, Little Bird told me that you might have a, a team that you're pulling for to be in the Super Bowl. Who do you think is going to be there? Fly equals fly. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, let's go get it, baby. Come right. on, foes we believe in. Who are they playing against? Who do you think? They're playing against the Saints. Saints. Yeah. So if they take the Saints, what's your Super Bowl pick? <sighs> I want to go for the Chargers. Okay. You know, Chargers or either the Chiefs, both of them. You'll take either one. Yeah. It'll be good to see somebody new in the championship. Yeah. You know, it's always fun. All right. Well, cool. So that's some good information right there. I'm looking <laughs> forward to spending more time with you this season. I know the fans are getting excited about getting to know you more Definitely. this year. Thank you for spending some time with us. Right, Columbus Lions fans, pleasure. we'll be back uh, with future episodes of FaceTime with the Lions. Thanks for tuning in.